Y'all know what the fuck it is and what the fuck it ain't. Yo, so the dark skin, bro, that we got on the left side of your screen, that's Mackie from Risky Road. Mackie was killed by an off-duty police officer in 2013-14 trying to rob him at the Sicko on 103rd and Corliss. He was shot and killed while his friend ran away. His friend was later apprehended and charged with 25 years in the death of Mackie. R.P. bro. So today where I'm going, first off, I had to show y'all exactly what happened. I know y'all seen the pictures. This is the Sicko right there on the 103rd and Cottage Grove. And um, they're still open. They're still functioning. I know y'all see the boards. I'm pretty sure the boards came from when they was rioting or looting, and they just kept them up for protection. So even though I did need gas, I didn't. I did get my gas up, but I came back. This is this is the exact spot where Mackie was killed by the officer. The exact same pump, all that. His friend was killed. I mean, his friend ran off into the back, back to, towards that Levan y'all seen. Now where I'm going to is I actually went to this high school. You know what I mean? When I first moved back to Chicago from Texas, and um, I was living on 110th and Perry, and uh, I had to go to this high school. And, man, I'm going to tell you this. It was like a juvenile detention center. I hated being there. I actually thought I was going to die going to that school. It was so rough. All they was begging on the table was, mm, I'm GDN. I'm GDN. It was crazy. And I'm from out west. I'm used to foes and all that. And even though I wasn't really in the game banging like that at that time, because I just got back in the city. I was like 14. Yeah, um, that was one of the reasons I ended up dropping out of high school later on. But now where we at is on Risky Road. We heading towards 104th and Cordless. And I just found out this was Four Corner Hustlers. You know, watching the Zach TV interview, that these was Four Corner Hustlers, and they into it with the Maniac Four Corner Hustlers or something like that. I don't know what the M really stand for, what the other foes they into it with. But yeah, you know, Rack, what's his name? Rax Rule, he from over here. I love to get an interview with them guys, but I didn't know it was Four Corner Hustlers over here. The whole time I was going to Corliss, scared for my life, thinking that the GD finna take me out. It just You know what I'm saying? Just because if they ask, woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? Just anything. And it, and it was actually foes right up the street. And I think I did meet somebody who was a vice lord later on. He kind of looked like Nipsey Hussle now that I think about it. But where I was going to, I was trying to, I seen they had a hundred, third, hundred, third place and all that. So I thought it was a hundred fourth or hundred fourth place. So as I'm going past a hundred fourth, I went, I was looking for a hundred fourth place and it was just a hundred fifth street. So I said, okay, let me turn around. Because what I researched, I seen that uh, Risky Road stretches from 104th and Cordless to 104th and Maryland. So that's where I went. And yeah, Maryland is the next street up. It's my first time ever being over here. Because when I went to Cordless, I was trying to just get back to where I had to be. I wish I knew how to travel at that time. Or I would have never went to that school. I would have been out west of one. Man, I'm trying to tell you, it was rough. I got a tour with a dude over my iPod. His name was Sydney. You know what I mean? He was with a dude named Jesse. Jesse ended up getting beat up by a girl named Shelby, but they both was kind of tall. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, like I was saying, I, my bad. I got to elaborate on the iPod story. Somebody wanted to use it. I said, no. They said, let's jump them. I said, what's the word? The one who wanted to use it said, nah, we ain't on that. So that's just another sign of how God was with me. But what y'all think about the streets? You know what I mean? You know, what you think? And I'm not going to sit up and say it look friendly like over east. I hate even saying that about streets. You know, I want to take them back because don't no, ain't nowhere friendly looking. But some just have more warming look than others. And this, uh-uh. You ain't going to catch me walking over here at night. It's just look dark. You know what I mean? A few from Chicago, you could tell where it get dark in the city. You know what I'm saying? Because out west, there's a lot of street lights. Think about that. And they, they close together. Probably like every 50 feet is a street light on one block. How many street lights have you seen on these blocks over here? Exactly. That's why dude was like he can get away with robbing people because it wasn't his first time. He aimed for the type of people he was used to robbing, and he aimed for the wrong guy. You never know. I got a friend named Vale. No, not Vale. Dang. Vidal. He got Ryan House kicking the jaw by a white dude wearing steel toe boots because he didn't know he could do that and broke his jaw. Long story with that one. I ain't finna get into it. But now, guess where we at? This was an infamous behind the scenes argument happened with my girl, y'all. Go ahead, take one guess who we at. And just because it's Ada Park don't mean it got nothing to do with my granny. Yup, we at Ada Park, man. The infamous recipes. Uh, I hate when people text my phone when I'm doing these videos. I got two phones, by the way. But uh, yeah, this that infamous recipes to sip from Ada Park. That was the old me. That's exactly where we at, man. I had to slide over here and see what's to it. Because I did see... 
Vaughn did it and sitting in a lot of lawn chairs and stuff posted up in front of cars in front of this huge park. Now, mind you, I was driving, I'm used to doing ride throughs and just showing the street. I had to think about it, turn the phone to the side, get it right for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just that type of dude. But uh, if you really think about it, uh, I, you know what I mean? Like, this is a big park. And if you really think about it, I was trying to figure out what Devon father passed. Because I was trying to look that up and get that on enough for y'all. My apologies. But, yeah, I'm just showing y'all the streets a little bit. I will turn the phone and show y'all the park. But it's just a park, you know what I mean? Just a regular little degular park. Bam, there you go. I'm glad you, I'm glad I did it because I was fishing around for words to use until I turned the phone. But anyway, back on track. Look how big that is. Just imagine all the barbecues they had back in the 90s. Women with the ain't haircuts, booty shorts, cutting their coochie up. Just no care in the world. I just bet it was so amazing back then, but a lot harder for everybody. Maybe not. I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? I tried to look up the exact like streets for like the BDs at Ada Park. Because, you know, S. Dot from Ada Park, the whole little 485 group, you know, that he had. Well, I don't know about Duke the Beast. But, um, and Von Dad from Ada Park. So, I when they claim Ada Park, just like when people, these gangs claim the main streets, like, they don't usually always be on the main street. And this is a big field. I was wondering, just because they claim Ada Park, was they, like, really in Ada Park just hanging? In my opinion, that's kind of a bad decision, especially back then of people, like, trying to get you. You know what I mean? And no disrespect to anybody because, you know, I do do death sites. But I did want to know what Von Dad passed because that would have just been a perfect little fit for this video, a nice way to honor his memory. You know, R.I.P. him and his son, two legends. But, man, you know, these are nice apart. These are the houses. Anywhere I go somewhere and I see all houses, I get excited. Because I'm used to just going up to seeing abandoned buildings, two flats, a whole bunch of uh, empty spaces as far as, like, lots and stuff. And when I see a bunch of houses, it excites me. Especially when I know it's all, all black people or usually an all black community. That's even more exciting, man. You know, because just because I wasn't fortunate enough to grow up in a community like this, no matter how rough it was, as far as living situations, like the house and stuff. Um... It's good to see at least our black people in certain areas is doing good because, you know, when you come from nothing, you think everybody around you is nothing, and that's how you treat the world. So when you see other people doing good, in my eyes, I get excited. And um, they say he, Von Daddy had all the females. He had all the guap. You know what I mean? And, I, you know, so if y'all use, if y'all, I got any street dudes on watching this video, then y'all know a lot of hustling come with that. Y'all think they was trapping us apart? Because if they was trapping out the park, Toyota could watch you. It's a big way for Toyota to watch you. They could just go sit anywhere and watch you. You get what I'm saying? And it took a long time to get around this park because I was driving slow. So my bad if just look a little stretched out. But it's just kind of out in the open. I hate to have to, you know, I, you can't choose what hood you're from. And this is 112 for Ada. I'm going up 112 because that's where they say the hood was at, 112 for Ada. So... You know, you can't choose what hood you got, but I hate to have to represent the hood while I'm posted up in the open field every day. You know, you right on the chopping block. No disrespect to anybody that's living that type of life, you know what I'm saying? Or if you're standing up in the field like that every day, defending yourself in your territory. But just all honesty, man, you know, that got to be a rough living. Every day you got you got to you gotta do a 360 spin every day. And I decided to throw this in there for y'all, so this is going to be a little short. But this house right here, right, right, right here, that's Love My House. I'm about. Have a good day. Keep hold.